How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and welcome back to our playthrough of the learning campaigns for Stronghold Crusader 2. Today we are going to be completing the preparations mini campaign with chapter number 3, The Lion's Den. Our masons are missing a reliable supply of stone. Take them and a small patrol into the next valley and attempt to set up a quarry. The scout that made it back tells of the area being overrun with lions and of worrying signs of human habitation at the end of the valley. Okay, so to win here we need to collect 240 stone, but we'll lose if we exceed our day countdown of 25 days. We're allowed 25 days to complete this mission. We're going to be doing it on the hard difficulty as per usual. Let's get started. Sire, the stone we need is here all right. But extracting it will not be easy. This region is swarming with lions. Not the lions. Place your stockpile, my lord. Okay. Sites Let's get started. Granary, Stockpiles, granaries. We get some apple farms up and going here. So that way we don't run out of food for our peasant population. And then like four woodcutters there. We also are going to need an armory. Place that there, <laughs> and with the armory comes a few bows. Let's go ahead and recruit those archers. We're going to get everything moving over here towards the lions. Here we, are. we are out of bows at this point, really. For some reason I thought I had more bows than that. I guess I don't. One of the things I could do is build more. But nah. Let's, uh, let's work on getting these lions out of here. I'm going to send in the peasants first, or the armored peasants, and then have the archers and men-at-arms come in afterwards to help deal with the lions. And I'm also going to get my lord walking over here. Looks lord like ship. the first den is down. Let's attack the second one here. Oh, was there still a lion? There might still be a lion there? I don't think so. Okay, so you got like a couple of lions going on here. This is not so good. There appears to be a heathen settlement at the end of the valley. I don't like it, my leash. I really don't. Okay, we got to get the archers out of this fray. Yeah, there appears to be a settlement. Right here is the settlement that... Scribe is blithering on about. Nice day, your Highness. Can you even use blithering like that? I'm not so sure. Woman, make ready. Because like, you can have blithering idiots, but can an idiot blither? I'm not. I don't think it, it, they can. On, squire. New orders. Let's get the rest of these troops up. There's a little bit of a supply cache there. You might have some wood coming in right about now. Yeah, it looks like these guys got their wood. Sire, the valley is clear of lions. I will sleep easier tonight. My feet hurt. Nice. So the main mission, or the main objective for this mission is to go ahead and get that stone. We have uncovered Ooh! That's where the weapons go. came from. Because I, like, preemptively played this and I saw more weapons than I actually got here. Or more bows than I had. So one more. There we go. That should be enough archers. And now we got a little bit more wood in. I think I'm going to do one more apple orchard here, and one more woodcutter. And then wait for the next bit of wood to get in before we expand with, like, more housing and whatnot. In the meantime, we can focus on what's going on up here. So I'm going to send the Lord in, tank, like, some of that archer damage, yes, sir. and then bring up oh, yeah. the peasants and whatnot. Archers will be last. I don't want my archers to take damage. Here we can see the problem. We can see the problem with Stronghold Crusader 2. I can't use Q and E to rotate my map. I have to use these, the middle mouse button. Like, Q and E, Q and E. These are my, these are my buttons. Like, what the hell? How do you get away with doing that? How do you get away with like, killing the keyboard off, right? It, it's like, no, no skin off of anybody's nose here. You know what, Scribe? Be quiet, okay? I'm sick of him talking all the time. Every time I try to make a point, he's got to interrupt me. So utterly irritating. Are these things even set to aggressive? I think they are. Bring up the archers, then. I don't know. Maybe the peasants can do something. Probably not, though. We'll see how it goes. I don't expect too much. Honestly. It's all about so-so, isn't it? Like we can get the Lord to deal with a couple more swordsmen, I think, but yes, the tail end of all this, on, we're taking a little bit more damage than I initially planned. Okay. Yep. 
tried tried rotating my map again using the actual the common sense route, you know, the keyboard. Like, have we gotten to a point? Look, I'm. Oh, you want to interrupt me again? That's nice. That's nice. Have we gotten to a point where so few people use the keyboard that it's deprioritized? Huh? Is that what has happened here? Because I know I still use the keyboard to mouse. I'm not gonna mouse to the edge of the screen, right? I still use it for that. Apparently nobody else is though, because Stronghold Crusader 2 has does not have the ability to rebind keys for these very important types of buildings. Oh yeah, okay. We need more peasants. Let's uh, increase the peasant stuff by four, because food is really an issue here. Ready and waiting. Can we please get rid of these swordsmen already? Like, Rally to the Lord. it turned out pretty rotten, honestly. I've done better in the past. That attack was like god awful. I think I just get a chance. Shut up. I think we're going to recruit more concept uh, conscripts then. I'm still just acclimating to the game because, like, I come here from the previous Stronghold titles. I pretty much played all of them at this point. And as I've mentioned before, you know, the, the game has its quirks. We're just going apples here because wood is such an obnoxiously scarce resource. It's impossible to get it going without starving your peasants first with no food. So that's always uh, a thing. Yeah, because that's the problem I've had in the past, right? Down to 40 apples, right? So if I expand my economy too fast here, it's going to absolutely kick me on my behind. Because it's like that, right? The, the apple orchards take forever to grow. That's the reason I'm doing the ale here. We're going to, like, split it 50-50. Should get these resources over here. 20 stone. I mean, I'll take it. But it's not especially great. We don't need a conscript up there. We don't need... A lord up there. What the hell? What are these guys doing up here? Like, we need the archers. Oh, there's also... There's also a man at arms up there, too. Uh, everything but the uh, actual units that you want up there are up there. Nice. And that's the other thing, like, with these 3D games, apparently you can't just click the top of the tower to get your units up there, because they'll automatically go to the, the area, like, down over here. I don't know. I noticed that in Stronghold 3 as well. Oh, and you can still pack towers. Nice. So by default, you can't. You can only like station one one uh, ranged unit up, unit up there. But if you pack the tower, if you select each unit individually, you'll still be able to fit like a thousand units all in one tower. I mean, this is the problem with the lack of unit collision. Right, right down, there's a peasant up there as well. Right. I, I can get this guy up to go up there. You can just pack an unlimited number of units in one tower when you're not supposed to be able to. I mean, I actually think this is worse than it was in the two-dimensional Stronghold games. I, I think they allow you to get away with more. Because in that game, at least, you, oh, maybe, it, no, maybe it's about the same. Because, like, you could pack in one at a time. Uh, it, it is, what you know, whatever. Let's get a couple of breweries up and going. Uh, how are the apples doing? They're dwindling still. And we still need the wood for the stone. I mean, we've got everything else cleared out, so. Now we just have to worry about, like, defending the kingdom from the enemy attacks. We are almost out of yeah, yeah, I know. It's pretty terrible, isn't it? You can't have any population in this game without running out of food. As soon as we get more wood. As soon as we get more wood. Here, let's just buy a bunch of wood. There. Now we can finally build the inn. Here it is. Not enough workers available to and then you're gonna complain to me about not enough workers. Are you are you for real? Here we go. Remember the good old days? You didn't necessarily need a unit working in it to actually use it. Here we go. So let's turn taxes off and turn food rations down to half. And now maybe we won't run out of food. That's the idea anyway. Our workers are complaining about the apple and cheese stews again, and would probably be much happier with some more variety in their diet. Perhaps we should raise some pigs to let them have some meat. I'm not building alternatives because they cost so much, right? We got other fish to fry here. Once we have placed a quarry or two, we should once more place ox tethers to bring back the quarried stone to our stockpile, my liege. 
So we need another hovel. Four peasants is not going to be enough now that I think about it. I have to go with eight. Then the rest of this area can just be like apple farms. The heathens are attacking my lord. What are we to do? Yeah, this is a little bit worrisome. Okay, it seems we have the uh, uh, defensive advantage for now, but we need to recruit more archers, I think. Hmm. Yeah, that could be a bit of a problem. Can I buy bows? I can't. I'll have to... Okay, we have to increase the taxes then. Uh, here we go. Normal rations. Oh, double ale rations, then we can turn this back down to half. There we go. Uh, we have enough to build a Fletcher's now, so let's Not go ahead and do that. But of course, we're still out of workers. Yeah, besides, I think we were overproducing ale anyway for the number of peasants we have. So maybe this guy can make some more bows. And just have the rally point over there. Like, we're getting, like, here we got some stone coming in. They're getting closer to actually realizing the completion of this mission. Again? Wow, this is We're serious. Going. I'm gonna bring some conscripts over here. Yeah, because they're killing everything. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to use the Lord to take these guys out. There are like three of them left. Because apparently walls do basically no defense in this game. I hear King Richard is on his way, sire. It would look better if we were ready with the stone shipment for when he arrives. Yeah, I know, I'm just a little bit surprised. I'm a little bit surprised at how awful that is. I think I'm just on this station the Lord over there. Okay, we got two bows now. Do we not have enough gold? We have enough gold. Like, why? There's no population then. Okay. Another hovel, I guess. We don't need all this wood either, so... I'm just going to delete that. So there's three bows. We'll see. Get the archers up here. Yeah, see, this is the genius way to do it. You just station your your lord wherever it is that the enemies will spawn. Guaranteed to be effective. That's what I did in the Stronghold 3 economic campaign. And there you go. It had its ups and it had its downs. Mostly, though, there was just simply too much talking in the background for me to get anything done. <laughs> That's a bit of a negative note to leave it on, isn't it? Um, I guess we get to move on to the next preparation campaign. Hopefully there will be less preparation, if you know what I mean. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. That completes the first mini-campaign for the mini-campaigns of the learning campaigns for Stronghold Crusader 2. And I hope to see you next time.